Hello guys, welcome back to ESPN's Football Forecast. My name is James Alcott. That's Nubaid Haroon. That's Pippa Monique. We're about to talk about the most improved player in the Premier League at this stage. What are we, 12 games in? Uh, we're going to talk about some notable mentions and then you have some strong feelings and then I'll give you the correct answer at the end of <laughs> this usual. video. Yes, sir. As usual, <laughs> that's right. Um, so in terms of notable mentions, we've got a few here, but we were just talking about them just before we started going. And there was a name that came straight up. Alex Awobi, Good that is shout. a shout. Wasn't in our notes. Shame yeah. on the person doing our notes. Um, Alex Awobi's really turned it around at Everton, hasn't he? What did you think of him when he left Arsenal? Do you know what? I don't know if a lot of people agree with me, but I was really disappointed. I always saw a play on Awobi. Oh, okay. No, honestly. So easy. No, you so can easy, even go check yeah. my tweets from back in 2017. <laughs> the way he used to link up with Alexis Sanchez when he was playing in that midfield role, he would get results. He would get goals and assists. Obviously, he wasn't like the package that Arsenal fans were looking for or managers were looking for, but he was always a player. And now that he's at Everton, he's played right back, he's played midfield, he's played on the wing. Everywhere he's played, he's producing something mm. and he just looks like a whole new player. Like, and it comes with age. It's that, that peak age where, you know, if you're not hitting 27, 28, which, which is going to be relatively soon and you're not flying, then, you know, it's been a problem. I think Everton have built a team around him, which is really interesting yeah. because, yeah, yeah, because they play... It won't be at Arsenal he used to play far left and you'd see glimpses of his brilliance, which is why I think Arsenal fans had an affection to him mm. and he's a lovely bloke. But then obviously the fans got onto him and then you received 35 million, which at the time was like, whoa, 35 million for a Wobi Everton being ripped off. Mm. And I think Lampard's gone, you've got the technical ability to play in midfield, like actually play in the middle of midfield. And I'll put someone next to you like Anana who can do the legwork for you. And we'll get the ball to you and then you can drift in and out of spaces because he's got the ability to, mm. and he's so good in possession. And a lot of the times Everton go, oh, we're stuck, where's it going, where's it going? And it's bang, into yeah. Wobi's feet. And yeah. then all of a sudden, everything just sort of settles down. I think he's, as you said, he's matured with age, but yeah. also I think Lampard's just gone, this is your team. Go, you go and run this team how you want to play. Um, and I think he's like he's taken it on. I think you're right about the role. I think that, that sort of box-to-box -box role a bit more centrally, where there's not the total kind of um, pressure on output. I think with Arsenal, you would have gone, okay, there was this game between Arsenal and Liverpool, name the Arsenal team. You'd go through that team mm. and it won't be the last one that you'd, yeah, yeah. you'd remember. With Everton, he's right there in the middle of the team. Um, he's so important and he does the right things quickly which I think is, is where he's really, really progressed this year for them. But it is that different role for me that makes that makes a difference yeah. for him. And I think that's the same for a few people. I think the, the, the final answer that you guys want to put forward, I think it's a similar thing. So mm -hmm. stick around for that one. But a couple of other options. Diego Delo at Manchester United. Another one where you're just shaking your head here, Nibet. He's, he's uh, Defensively, 3.5 tackles and interceptions per 90 this season. Getting forward that little bit more. I think growing with Ten Hag in the side this year, he's been featured in every game that Ten Hag's um, had this season in the Premier League. Uh, are you you're still giving he's, me that he's face? Definitely What's going improved, on? but I think um, in games where United have come up against wingers that actually attack him, he struggles. The City game, Grealish got him booked within I think five minutes, um, and I think there is definitely an element of like, he's playing because United don't have another option. Uh, wan is well off the grid. And <laughs> oh, on the other that. side, well, the thing is when they played City, Malassia played the other side and Ten Hag immediately went, yeah, he's not ready. Yeah. I've got to get Shaw back in there. And I think if he had the option with Dallo, he probably would have done something similar or he would have tinkered with him. He's definitely improved, which is why you can make the list of improved. I don't think he's most improved. No, he's, I agree yeah. with that. He's not the final answer. No. Yeah, he's not is the final he? answer. Yeah, I think yeah. you can definitely see what he brings to the team yeah. now. And I think that's... But he'll be gone soon. You still yeah, think that? Yeah, yeah. Right. I think they'll get, a, they'll get an upgrade because I don't think he's the package that Ten Hag completely wants. But he's technically better than Wan Bissaka. He's not horrible defensively. He's not wonderful attacking. Mm. So he's kind of just in the middle somewhere. When he, he's doing the job. When he gets to the point where he's sort of at his peak. So let's say that's that's a Wobi right now. And mm. I think that was the other thing with Wobi. Sometimes uh, being sort of a bigger fish in a smaller pond, is that the phrase? Being that at Everton, being important. Yeah. That can make you, one, have a bit of a spotlight on you. But also and make you just look better. Yeah, yeah. But also a different kind of pressure. Probably, yeah. not, probably not the same amount that's expected at Arsenal. With Delo, do you think... Do you think his ceiling is a team that's going for the Champions League? Or do you think he, he'll end up being a little bit lower than that? This is, I think this is the highest that he'll get. Is that, is that what you're asking? Yes. Mm. Yeah, you this, think this is as good as this, it gets? This is as good as it gets for Dallow. Okay. But then again, I haven't seen enough of him. I've only, I've only seen him like a season, really. He doesn't mm. play consistent football for Manchester United in the Premier League. So what we've seen so far is, for me, in my opinion, that's the best he's going to get. I okay. don't see him. If, if, if he's already making the improved list now. Like you're basically saying that's it, that's him, that he's best. And and a gentle improvement with a with a shaked head here as well, which is difficult. Um let's go through some other people then. Kepa, Aretha Balaga, 
Pronunciation. Thank you. I like. I like that like pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably got it wrong. Um, no, it's seven right. saves against Villa. Five saves against Brentford. Cost seventy-two million a little while ago. He's had some moments along the way. Mm-hmm. I think we. I thought we'd seen the last of him, but Graham Same. Potter seems to like him. A similar question with him. I like, again, he's not my answer, but do you think he is back to where he will continue to be, or do you think this is form? Or, See, or his level. I agree with what you said about Dallow. This is, it's only because there's no other option right now. Mendy last season was the guy, Club World Cup champions. He was make, he was the main goalkeeper. But he's, I mean, he's been available. Yeah, yeah he's, pretty, he's been massively out Obviously, of form. yeah, but you can't say he's the most improved player just because he's kept Mendy out. It's only between the two of them really at Chelsea. But that doesn't make him the most improved. He's doing his job as a keeper. If he's not doing what he's doing at Chelsea now at this standard, then... Are well, you saying you need a longer period yeah. as a number one without Because mis- that's how goalkeepers get yeah. judged, don't they? Really? Mm. I mean, I think, uh, look, he's making saves in a Chelsea side that's not playing brilliantly at this, this moment in time. And he's not arguing with the, uh, with the manager. Yeah, yeah, so he's <laughs> saying, not refusing not to be off. taken off as well, which I think is a, a plus. Um, but yeah, do, do you agree with that then? Do you think, what's his ceiling? Uh, the, the real thing here is the question of most improved makes like, Dallo, Kepper, a lot less attractive when we've got other names in mind. Like mm. Awobi for me is so improved because yeah. he's gone from like, a player at Arsenal couldn't get a game to being Everton's main man. Yeah. He got Kepa's, games. Mm, come on. He wasn't good enough hey, for Arsenal at the hey, time. Come on. Let me roll up the... Uh... Listen, he scored the only goal in the Europa League final that we got embarrassed in. I think that was his only goal. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> come on, stop it. <laughs> I think you've seen though, he's gone from sort of a, a club that yeah. were competing for the Champions League to a club that's now not, not actually competing for Europe but he's like the main man there. Yeah. And maybe that is his level, but he, he's doing very well for that level. For Kepper, I go 72 million. Ignore the 72 million, ignore everything else. How good has he been this season? If he's not Allison Edison level and he's not De Gea level. I think he has been that level this season though. I think, I don't, I think he's this been, season. 12, 13 games. I think like Alison Edison <laughs> and maybe not De Gea, but Alison Edison are right at the top level. I mean, sure. Ke- Kepa's in the Spain team and De Gea's not and they've got five keepers. So that probably tells you how in form he's been. Is he the most improved? I don't think so. I think you're about to suggest a name that is definitely... Okay, so here's right. the correct answer. And then the, the guys, I think you're teaming up on the, on the last one. On. Well, I think he's had a good season, but again, I think it's about the role. Uh, Miguel Myron. I mean, seven <laughs> Premier League goals <sighs> written off by his, his colleagues yeah. in the Premier League and Jack Grealish. And him and Trippier, it's it's creating a bit of a blueprint for like how England could play in terms of having Trippier there, who's been so good for them. But then Almiron, who kind of does play as a winger, but he kind of plays as a centre forward at times. He's scoring world-class goals week in, week out. That goal last week was filthy. Yeah. And, and he's got a little smile on his face as well. I think, I, I wonder if, I feel like this will, he will be a sort of cult legend for uh, Newcastle in 10 years time where they're winning everything and if they lose a game, it's an absolute crisis. This will feel like a really lovely time where mm. we had, do remember we had Almer on and yeah. he was, he was smashing it up for us. A bit like he, Alana, he's done so well. Remember Alana at Man City when uh, he first came on the season? <laughs> yeah, 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 in. yeah. I mean, he actually scored a worldy free kick against Newcastle, which is like 55 yards out. Um, and City fans look back at that era and go, ah, oh, he was that guy, man. Yeah. Like, he wasn't the guy. But he, but he has to guy. be the answer because from, from in terms of distance covered, in terms of improvement, from where he was, mm. so he's on seven goals. Yeah. His, his best up until now is four. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, for him I'm to be there... One because literally, be honest with me. I'm like, convinced no, you, you yeah, can go with no, someone else. No one, no one was talking about him last. No one was talking no. about him ever. This is the most he's been talked about and rightly so because he's... He's doing it right now. And I, I really, I'd love to see, if he can get to 15 goals, I, I think it'd be amazing. And I, I think because of Trippier behind him, he's up there, as I say, playing as a centre forward and he will get more chances and he scores screams anyway. Yeah. Do you so, think he's amazing. going downwards from this point though? Because he's on seven and 13. You, I, I bet he wishes the World Cup wasn't happening. Yeah. Because you go, let's just, let's just milk this it, one. Yeah. Let's <laughs> ride this train as long as we can. So that is my answer. Has to be it. Uh, I'm it's a good I convinced you. No, not entirely, but okay. it's a very, so, very good shout. I mean, only because I'm reveal, biased. Let's reveal your show. I'm, I'm 100% going with Granite Jacko. I mean, come on. We're talking about cult heroes here, cult legends. This yeah. is Legends, you know? Yeah. No, because what a story. What, what a turnaround. Arsenal fans. That's why they were They're booing him a couple that. of years ago. I mean, it was only a percentage. I was there <laughs> where I was sitting. No one was booing him. Okay. But I did hear it, of course. Um, but no, what, the turnaround's been incredible. From throwing down your captain's armband, I thought it was going to be out of the door. I was expecting Unai Emery to get him out. But then Arteta's come in. He's a whole different player. He's scoring goals against the top six teams. He's getting in positions he never used to get into. He's getting less bookings. I know that was a big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, true. he was misprofiled. The profile he was given was 
Uh, Xhaka mm. makes loads of tackles. Yeah. He's really competitive. But he was in a role that, that made him yeah, yeah, have to do those him, things, right? Exposed him yeah. massively. And obviously, he's not the most mobile player. So if he plays a six by yourself and someone quicker runs past you, you're going to take him out. Mm. We've both been there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's what we do. Um, I think this season, Arteta's gone... You're not the most mobile. We've got Party who can be the most mobile in that position. You come and play as a left, sort of like a left-sided creator mm. uh, who can get into the box as well. And I think the guy's going to get a Netflix documentary. I'm putting it out there right now. And Netflix, if you're <laughs> not done the Amazon, it, man, yeah, <laughs> get one on Jacker because that story arc's been insane. And I think people completely wrote him off. Mm. Completely not like Almiron was written off, but Jacker was done. People were like send him to Roma. He's never coming back. That was and me. now. People are talking about this guy being one of the best players in the league this season. So there is only one correct answer. Like, come on, like, I wrote him off and now I'm, I love him. So that's, that's got to be a comeback story. See, well, I, I mean, I'm going now, Myron. You're going, Jack. You could be the deciding vote, but <laughs> I, think you, I think I know where we're going to go. We'll leave it to the comments. Guys, who is the most improved player in the Premier League so far this season? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.